Fazio for five minutes. As I speak here on the floor of the House, the Republicans on the uh, Senate side of the Hill are still blocking meaningful financial reform, uh, protecting their patrons on Wall Street, as they always do. And the lords of Goldman Sachs are before a committee protesting their innocence. Now, we all know that Goldman and these other firms on Wall Street were too big to fail, or at least some think they were. I think we should have let them more of them fail personally, and I oppose the uh, bailout of Wall Street. But let's just say they were too big to fail, or at least they were deemed too big to fail, and they were bailed out uh, by the United States the government and the taxpayers of the United States. But something else was going on uh, at the same time. Not only were they too big to fail, they had created wonderful new financial products that were enriching them in unbelievable ways ways, making millions of dollars a day for the lords of Goldman and, else, and elsewhere on Wall Street. They had designed products that were designed to fail. Then they sold them after they went to the all-too-willing ratings firms, so-called impartial ratings firms. Goldman would pay Moody's to rate garbage as caviar, AAA. Then they would go out and sell it to sophisticated investors who should have known better. I mean, come on, they should have looked at it more carefully. I mean, well, yeah, they did kind of, you know, mess around with it, and they did, you know, get the people at Moody's uh, by threatening to take away their business to rate the garbage as caviar. But, you know, those other people should have smelled it and known really it was garbage. And, and you know, I mean, what's wrong with that? And then, of course, then Goldman just did happen to place some bets of its own against the garbage, which they had created and knew was garbage, uh, and they bet it was garbage. And they won, making billions of dollars for themselves and others who were in on the know here. This is a pretty rotten system. Now, you could say, well, gee, well, but aren't they doing things like investing in capital? You know, aren't they building a great America? No. The financial services industry has gone from 19% of the profits in this country to 41%. And for the most part, outside of community banks and some people who still actually do banking, unlike most of those companies on Wall Street, they produce no value. They create a heck of a lot of wealth for themselves and others, and occasionally they cause the economy to explode and cost us millions of jobs, but they're still uh, doing very well for themselves. And now they're back to business as usual, and the Republicans in the Senate are defending business as usual under the guise of really no wanting to have a better bill uh, that won't encourage bailouts. I mean, this is all such a laughable farce. It would be funny, except for the unbelievable pain it has caused to the real economy of this country, who's been suffering for years. It's time to cut these people down to size. Cut them down to size by prosecuting them. Uh, I've been joined by a 59 of my colleagues, uh, and Elijah Cummings and I have sent a letter to the SEC saying, look, you've uncovered one uh, you know, case of alleged fraud by the Securities Exchange Commission uh, where they knowingly sold a bad product uh, to investors, and then they bet against it themselves. Uh, there were a number of others that went through something called AIG, which the federal government also bailed out at a cost of $180 billion to taxpayers. We want every uh, transaction between Goldman and AIG scrutinized to see whether or not any of those were similarly fraudulent transactions, in which case we could get a few billions of dollars back from the Lords of Finance to the taxpayers in Main Street, USA. It's long past time to begin these kinds of investigations, and hopefully, ultimately, like with Enron, because this is worse than Enron prosecutions, and we'll let some of them enjoy some federal hospitality for a few years. This is absolutely outrageous. They're creating products designed to fail that have no useful product, in fact, robbing capital from companies who want to invest, who actually want to make things, who actually would employ Americans and who would enhance our economy, all for them to gamble on Wall Street. Uh, it's time for the gambling to stop. You know, in a 
regular casino, the if the casino goes broke, it's only the gamblers of the casino that have a problem. And the casino of Wall Street, when they mess up, they destroy the real economy of the United States and people's livelihood. 